Hello everybody, good morning. Good morning, morning. Poppy, I know that's you. <laughs> Papi, I know that's you. Hello, guys. Good morning. Hi, William. How are you? Long time no see. But now see now. How are you doing? Where have you been? Where have you been? Thank you, 3 million in the house, 2 thumbs up. Hello, hello, good morning. I've been very busy. <laughs> I know that. Everyone is busy right now. We have our own lives, you know. How's life going on? How's everybody? <laughs> Two viewers, thank you so much. Three viewers, three viewers, three thumbs up. Hello, good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you guys? How's the weather in your country? How's the weather in your place? Hi, sister, how are you? Sir Muhammad, hello, good morning. We have a very hot morning here today. It has been very cold. Oh my God, how I wish we, you can share some cold in here. Look at the sky, it's so clear. <laughs> It's so hot here in the Philippines, William. You're looking very nice, Maganda. Oh, thank you, ah. Have you seen me? I never shown myself on the, the camera. Thank you for thumbs up. Hello, good morning, good morning. How are you? Are you single mom? Huh? Are you single or single mom? None of those. None of those. Who are the others? 5 million viewers. Thank you so much. Where are you guys? How are you guys? It's been so, so, so... Uy, Kuya Mike! I've been to Manuyod uh, the other day. How are you? Good morning, little M. How are you from Ottawa, Canada? Kuya Mike, good morning. How are you? I just got my style. I get healed. <laughs> it's been... Rigi Rogi, hi. Do I know you? It's been uh, one week of suffering. Almost, no, almost uh, not one week. I think eight days for my sty eye. Did you see me? No. <laughs> You're not there. <laughs> You're not there. I've been in Manoyan for, um, for like about, uh, it's been one week. Yeah. Rocky Mountains are very cold. No, not not all the time, William. It's summertime here in the Philippines, William, so it will never be expected to be cold. Even in the mountain area, probably it's cold during night or midnight, something like that. Oh yes, Mokems Dong, hello. Are you in the Philippines now or not yet? Hi, yes, Mokems. Kuya Mike, thank you so much. Oh, my sty eye is get held now. Six million in the house. Hello, good morning, everybody. Thank you for giving me a thumbs up. How are you? How are you, Ms. Esmohan? Kuya Mike, how are you? Oh my god, what's happening? One rescue. The other day, I know last week, I posted it in my shorts. It got burned over there. Oh, it's just one block away. Because of an Uy Nathan, I don't like the new haircut. Huh? Did I do have a new haircut? No, I didn't. I don't have a new haircut. <laughs> Nate, good morning. Mabuhay, beautiful Frank. Hello, Frank. It is finally nice here waiting for the human birds to return. I forgot where you're from, USA. William. I don't have a new haircut. I just dyed my hair. Anyway. So yeah, it's getting so hot here and they're burning over there dried leaves. So and then um, that time 
the wind was it was very uh, not that very windy you know but since it's really dry the grass and everything so yeah it just bloom bloom like you know Colorado ah okay Colorado USA guys try to visit Philippines now oh my goodness <laughs> you will get burned in just few minutes staying under the sun Colorado you get sty because you use outside instead of CR what do you mean <laughs> that's common in the province Kuya Mike way back then we have no CR no so every time we 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 need to use the CR since we don't have CR we can just hide ourselves somewhere you know uh, it's kind of like wild living Sainy Kalyo you change your name along with your hair did he change it wait ah uh, oh yeah I noticed it why did you change of domestically cervical why did you put cervical <laughs> Are you going swimming today? No. It's gonna be so... Where am I gonna swim? In the beach? Oh my gosh, you're just gonna swim there for like about 5 minutes or probably 5 or 10 minutes staying there and without any sunblock or sunscreen you will be... get burned. You sounds very young. How old are you? My gosh! I'm over and no. I'm over. I'm old enough. <laughs> Hopefully in the water. Water. We didn't have a swimming pool here. Only if the owner were going to put the swimming pool over there. <sighs> Anyways, I'm about to work third shift. Nathan, how are you? 12. 12 plus how old? 12 plus 12 plus plus 5 good times are you 12? no not I just said 12 plus 12 plus 5 anyway guys did you know that kind of fruit? that's really sweet actually it's sereguelas Happy birthday. Why? It's not my birthday. <laughs> William, it's not my birthday. 13 by tomorrow. 13 by tomorrow. Hopefully my... I'm getting old now. Oy. I'm on ano na. <laughs> Very smart. 12 plus 12 equals 12,125. Happy birthday. Why is the camera not on you? Are you okay? I'm I'm okay. I'm just not look uh, I'm not really good looking for now. Very haggard William. Wait a minute. Hoy! Go your mic, don't say it. very thirsty you know so i have to drink some water what degree is it today um let's see it here let's see it here ah uh, what a degree celsius 31 for now it's still not that very hot but i mean as you can see it's actually very hot like if you're going to drive somewhere or Look at my face, very haggard. So I got my sty eye on this eyes here. 29. Okay? So I'm very haggard, that's why I'm not showing myself. <laughs> you're so mean. Nathan, you're so mean. 
31 for now but later on I guess will be like 40 I don't believe it's 31 actually because yesterday I just went to the market for like about 10 minutes drive guys when I get back I got sunburn already so you have black eye no I don't have black eye <laughs> I would prefer to see you can we please look at the hill again there you are see that why is it like that wait uh, I don't like the you uh, know see that's very I know huh? you look fantastic why so shy Hogard, cynical, so mean. <laughs> You're so mean. Temperature has nothing to do with sunburn. Huh? Why? I got sunburn because of the um, humid. I mean, the sun. I was I went out and without any jacket or any protection on my skin you know and I was wearing a t-shirt and then short and then the sunburn was <sighs> it hurts because I'm worse anyways I'm about to work third shift because I'm a workhorse and I needed them to move trucks from General Motors to put lights up sun not hit sun no way sun oh you can't fool me oi i'm not pretty You look so haggard. Are you okay? Yes, I am okay. I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay. Yes, okay. Yes, I'm so haggard. Like, look at my, I know. I'm okay. Physically and mentally okay. Uh, just I know. They said that eyes won't lie. So, what can you say? <laughs> Oh, you love bong it, my god. <laughs> There's another mean here. Smo Kelms. I got lucky this year. I'm gonna. You are sad. Just probably stress. You know. I got lucky this year. I'm gonna go to Chicago to move a machine in two weeks and then probably spend a month working in North Dakota. How far is Chicago to North Dakota? It looks very nice there. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, the environment, William? Or the surroundings? Uh, the people? <laughs> I love Panget. Hi! But when I get back, I get to run a prevailing wage job for the government. You're working three jobs? Nathan, you are sad. Oh, not sad. Probably like a little bit of stress, you know. You cannot, eyes won't lie, they said. So, no matter how you put covers, any makeup in your face, well, I don't wear any makeup because for me, it's just wasting of money. Don't cover your true self for me. <laughs> If the people don't like you, they don't, they don't like you. You don't need to pretend. You don't need to change yourself. You don't need to cover yourself just to please people. If they don't like your face, then who cares? So I get to make 51 bucks an hour working in my hometown. An hour? My gosh. Did you know that working here per hour? Uh, no. Nathan, our minimum... Tarzan, Kuya John, is that you? Hello, good morning. Um, did you know that working here eight hours? Okay, eight hours, guys. Eight hours. It cost you our minimum wage here is three hundred twenty. Okay, three hundred twenty. Sometimes three hundred sixty. It depends on what you're 
job description. And I'm talking about working at hours. So, 300, let's just say, 350 per, uh, per day. That's gonna be like one or no, three. Three, probably. How much is it? Just convert it into, just convert it into, what do you call that? Dollar. So, that's our minimum rate here. Minimum, um, wage for the uh, it's either you are a crew you are a sales lady that's gonna be your minimum rate and not every company following on that rate i'm talking about overall philippines you know thank you 16 million jay how are you good morning as mccams you are mean too not hug or just old <laughs> Yeah, I'm old. Hi, Eminem. Kuya Tarzan, hello. Good morning. Haggard na. I'm getting old na. I accept the reality. To just accept the fact that we're not getting any younger, we're getting old. <laughs> Shout out Sir J, good morning. I bought my ticket for the Philippines today, secret secret. How much is it? So that I have idea how much is the ticket. As no friends. Uy, welcome back to the Philippines. Good morning sis, ang init ng panahon, stay inside. Uy, tipid si, oo nga, agrabi ang init. Tapos ang ano pa. I'm trying to be white. <laughs> Ang dami na naman mag-ano dyan. Tatakol dyan, oy. Oh. Pangit ko naman talaga, eh. Kahit anong anuin ko pa dyan, pangit talaga yan. Pangit. Oh. Ano yan? I drove semi, ha, semi five years in Dakota. In Dakota? Si Kim, thank you for that. What's the... Uy, William, thank you for that super chat. Thank you very much. Let's celebrate. Thank you so much for that. This is a special wage for a special job. Ah, okay, okay. So, not for everybody. Yes, it, it's me, Balot, John. Yes, I know you. That is the right attitude. What do you mean, William? Hey, Tarzan, nice to see you here from TPG. TPG, salamat. I only make 2000 no, don't say I only. Okay? That's gonna be here in the Philippines, um, Sinical, Nathan. 2,800. Even if, probably even if you are a professional, maybe, uh, it depends on your job. In your job, that's gonna be like, um, no, you cannot get a job. You cannot get a salary like that here. A day. We're talking about a day. Probably a couple of days. Yes. And we're talking about 8 hours working, ha? 8 hours working. No, of course, lunch break. Just 1 hour. Tarzan and you couldn't find a way out of North Dakota in 5 years, lol. <laughs> no, you are still guapa. I'm just joking. I know, right? Stay happy and haggard. Hui! Grabe ka. Just stay happy, not haggard. My gosh. She is looking old and haggard. I just didn't want to be the one to say it. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> you can't hurt me anymore, no? My friends, Filipina was making $38 an hour about three years ago as a school teacher in my hometown, North Dakota. Yes, we're talking about ano, for that minimum, I mean for that salary, probably you can get that if you are a professional. But if you're just an ordinary person with no lack of knowledge, with no lack of um, education like me, you cannot have that. Okay, just... If I'm gonna work, the only work that I can work for is... Um, 
I'm lucky enough maybe if uh, the call center will accept me since I'm not uh, a college graduate. I don't have a college education. Okay? So probably I'm lucky enough if uh, I got hired with those job like BPO or contact services are the jobs just customer service there hi Livy are the jobs just customer um, are you talking about call center my older brother gave me his uh, 16 hectares of land in North Dakota close to the big lake gosh you have a lot of property na that's sarcasm <laughs> Nathan Western white women are dime and as in the Philippines as in, in the Philippines the women are beautiful in their own skin. Really? Did you know that only Filipino women did you know that only Filipino women appreciate our own beauty like our skin complexion like brown? We're not black. We're kind of like black and brown. Caramel? <laughs> Caramel? <laughs> Caramel, yes. Wind howling from Sankai, okay. Yeah, a little bit windy today. My GF and I are very happy today. I can't wait to see her. You have GF na? I bought the ticket because she was so mean to me. Uy, be good to her. My eight. Oy, congratulations, Esmo Kems, ha? My 8 years old son will have my land in North Dakota and not have to pay tax on it. He's Native American Indian like me. You know what? You're so lucky. Why you... Do really? You, you don't pay anything? Even if you have a lot of properties, you don't pay for any taxes? Wait, thank you for the super chat. Thank you so much. Who is it? Sir William, thank you so much. I'm... Half na, like 50. I'm almost there in 100. <laughs> After a few months, maybe I will reach it. Anyway. Here in the Philippines, minimum for 8 hours of work is 530 pesos. Uy, tipi Here. Ala, nalipun ko. I feel dizzy now, eh. Hindi, dito hindi 535 minimum wage dito is 300 something lang um, oo kasi the minimum wage is different by that's gonna be like set A set B or capital by capital something like that like in Metro Manila we're not the same minimum wage in Metro Manila and over here in Dumaguete because we're in the province ganon No, you look fantastic. I'm just being sarcastic. Money USD doesn't go that far here. Anyway, I gotta bounce. Have a nice day. Nathan, salamat Nathan. Thank you very much. Good night. Thank you for being here. Going now, it's my niece's birthday. She is five today. Uy, happy birthday to your niece, Kuya Mai. Ano yan? Muito linda, Maravel Hosa. What's What? What causes sarcasm? Caramel indeed. Caramel? <laughs> Layo. <laughs> sarcasm is a sign of intelligence. I'm gonna think about that. Mocha chocolate my color. Yellow chocolate. Glad to see you again. Ano yan? Why? You don't have feet? Native don't need to pay tax, pay federal taxes on reservation land. Oh, they're so lucky pala. Why you wanted to see my feet? Good morning. How are you? Don't time it out for a second only. Hide it. I'll give you a permission. <laughs> People like that are just, you know. Lol, one of the freaks. 
Eric, thank you so much. Good morning. How are you? I'm gonna give you first warning. Hi, doing good. Nice to see you again. Well, yeah, you're just too nice. Giving first warning. Me? No, I'm not giving first warning. I just hide it directly. I'm gonna give you an advice, guys. If you wanted to stay for good, like about one year, don't um, stay in apartment for like uh, up and down and then the tenants downstairs are kind of like sorry sorry store a store something like that so I'm gonna share you a problem here so downstairs there is a store so there are three units here apartment it's up and down okay so the tenants downstairs those are stores um, like a crispy king something like that it's kind of like a, a fast food okay over there downstairs and the rest laundry and yeah office something like that now the problem here downstairs where we live is they're selling the agriculture now they're selling an agriculture the problem here when they got their stocks delivered some of their stock got like a, an insect inside of it i don't know what do you call those but in the feeds there are insects living especially that if that is an old stock so what's the problem here is all those insects will going upstairs because they can fly they can crawl so and sometimes ants there's so many ants so that's my uh, problem here uh, like they're selling an ice cream they're selling uh, sugar downstairs it's kind of like agribet supply plus uh, what do you call that sorry sorry store something like that so that's gonna be a problem like when they don't clean a lot thank you for the like sirens are right on time <laughs> yes if they don't clean a lot even if they clean a lot so knowing that they got a stock there like sugars and, and all so you guys tenants upstairs you're gonna be suffer so once you stay in a long term don't stay in like this like you are in the upstairs and then there is a sorry sorry store nearby or there is a sorry sorry store beside where you live or something like that because you're gonna be faced the problem of insects and um, we have different kinds of ants and those ants are very tiny and they're gonna bite you very very it's gonna be hurt you know when they bite you and it's got swollen you know so yeah that's all I want to share and even if you raise your concern to the owner if even if you raise your concern to the people who are living downstairs it doesn't they don't solve the problem anyway so you gotta be like you have to have a lot of patience we thank you for for the ano uh, for the likes Dave how are you long time no see good morning my friend when will the Philippines legalize marijuana? I can't answer that, Sir William. Actually, they are trying to, uh, let's just say way back 2019, I guess, or 2020. They're trying to raise that. They're trying to raise that um, uh, campaign in the Congress. But uh, they've been quiet for a while. They don't uh, talk about it. Uh, yeah, so I don't know. So the only one Congress man. Oh no, sorry, Senator that pushing that to be legalized here. So there's no progress in that. So I don't think so it's gonna be legalized here. 
Hi, Mike. Good morning. Hello, M. How's your day? So far, it's getting so hot. <laughs> Look. There. It's gonna be perfect when you are in the terrace like you have you have here a small swimming pool and then you're gonna suck your body in the cold swimming pool and you're gonna look around with the birds and sky dreaming <laughs> i know you were going say it's hot <laughs> welcome to the philippines mike yes it's getting so hot here so that's uh, uh you know it's summertime here perfect actually if you're going to visit philippines right now like you're not gonna be facing like a uh, reschedule for the boat transportation you know for the plane transportation because there's no typhoon and this time hello dave long time since you and anna on panel anna hello mike from dave Oh, Anna. Okay. I think I know her. Guys, how are you doing? Are you... Some of you are in the Philippines already or not yet? Eleven. We oh, thank you for the like, Ripa Suba, Suba official. Thank you so much. Yeah, see that it's so hot. So if you're gonna visit Philippines summertime, bring umbrella, water. Water is a must, and umbrella or any like top, you know, to cover your, to protect yourself. Um, thin t-shirts, like t-shirts that is you know quick dry or something like that be there by june really my gf just flew home from hong kong june it's gonna be oh in two months you'll be here that is still probably my i would not say that's gonna be a rainy season yet yeah i think that's still summer season so yeah yes i know mike i haven't saw anna in a long time you mean song for anna and bring it you know there are so many things i'm i'm gonna mention what are the basic needs for emergency you know first if you are a plus size uh you're gonna be a hard time to find your t-shirts here so um yeah because some people they have a hard time because guys we are the filipino size and even our t-shirts like xxxl it doesn't fit to you guys because you guys are different sizes we have different sizes filipinos our xl here is just still small for you so uh, bring a lot of t-shirts um yeah power bank did you know that sometimes there will be like it's not always but sometimes our electricity here will just have like a surprise power interruption something like that <laughs> yes phxs is a large yes because sir eric i think you just been here i i don't know if i remember you said it yeah So, power bank is very useful. That's very useful here. And then, t-shirts. Run out common most province. Even here in the city, my. Even here in the city, in the Maggette City, there's always like a, a power interruption schedule every Saturday, every weekend, Saturday and Sunday. So, there will be always a power interruption um not hold the maggetti but sometimes you know hold the maggetti like if we will have no power for like 12 hours okay like it's gonna be start by 6 a.m to 6 p.m something like that uh 
for this year i mean this month there's no no it just happens once we are in april no i mean march just once or twice scheduled runouts yes mike captain belly nice to see you where have you been hehe <laughs> how are you we missed you it's been a year a couple of years yeah my lady will be here in may <gasps> we congratulations did she got the k1 visa very good congratulations eric belly jack you didn't playing with shoe mike eric sherman hello guys captain belly wow that's so nice i was canceled my visa was canceled i mean i wouldn't say visa but you know our application way back then 2018 and then we got approved 2020 and then the pandemic start and i have a hard time to apply so and they're just only giving me four months to comply the interview and then the medical examination so what 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 happened was i can't fly over there and the time is running so until i was running out of time and i was trying to you know asking for consideration about you know pandemic something like that so it's just wasting all the suffer all the expenses is just all done yeah useless captain belly thank you ah huh? thank you so much hi captain belly yes he won i'm glad she passed it lol it's only been three oh <laughs> seems like three years guess he got boring <laughs> from uh captain belly jack Captain Billy, I know you're you're saying you're gonna be here by 2024. How is it? Are you still gonna be in the Philippines by 2024 or not? We are on 2024 now. It's back to normal times now. Our hour was 10 months, so do it yourself. We did ours. It's easy. No, Marky won't do it anymore. Um, probably he's working and then you know it's more work for him and more expenses you know so the best and i've been waiting for six years six years yeah how have you been captain belly there's so many changes right now <laughs> been okay so far surviving I just got done with my surgery too you're so fast huh Eric because our we, we filed our key one petition way back 2018 and then we got approved by our NOAA one uh, no, petition after 4 months and then after that you know we got our NOAA 2 after another 4 months no what no no one and then no what to we got approved after four months something like that so let's just say our papers before i got my manila case all the petition was approved and we got our you know the tax was you know fake something like that it runs into almost two years all the papers they are caught up getting that a lot faster just redo the one you had I'm willing to do it, Eric, but um, there are so many ano na, complications right now. So, yeah. The hospital stay was rough on you. <laughs> I was like living in the hospital for quite long. Like, you know, uh, I got, I got, I stayed there for like four days, one week, and get out, and then four days again, five days. I don't want to have scars but I have no choice they need to we need to do the surgery or else I'm gonna be suffer always with stomach pain 
Actually, I got this stomach pain for quite long now, for like about 10 years. But it's not that it's tolerable, you know, and I just didn't pay attention that much. And when I throw up a lot already, and my, uh, when I throw up, it seems like the taste is bitter, and it's turning into yellow-green, greenish, something like that. So when they do laboratories and exams, something like that, ultrasound, they said it's already inflamed. So I have choice. I can still live, but it's almost, you know, it's already inflamed. Anyway. Yeah, I'm still alive and kicking, you know. <laughs> life is so rough for me 2023 so rough you know it's kind of like a roller coaster and that the things that you need to do is just breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out captain belly yes 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 unless they shut down my plane oh really welcome captain belly when was the last time you've been here Prepare your, I know, face towel <laughs> because it's very hot here now. Well, of course, you're still very young. Very young? Mm, no, I'm, I'm living almost like half of my time here in Earth. I'm, I'm turning 30 now. So 30 years of living. Mm, yeah. now I'm thinking six months but I know it was one year it's not a one year where are you gonna stay in Liti? Liti? is it Liti? or Cebu? very young <laughs> no it's it's old it's old in China that's considered is it China correct me if I'm wrong that's considered leftover yes in the province did you know that in the province like I'm talking about in the province nah she's young <laughs> in the province okay we have uh, our ancestors and parents over there, we have a culture over there that if you reach 20s and you don't have a family yet, you don't have a child yet, especially when you turn 25. When you turn 25 years old and you have no child, you have no boyfriends, something like that, they will consider you or they were gonna pressure you to marry because they said oh you're not you're gonna be menopause something like that you're gonna be like leftover so they will consider it leftover just like china <laughs> leftover at the age of 25 you know that's so mean that's how is it in the province guys live over at 30 crazy yes but of course, it's different here in the city. So, people in the provinces, their mindset is too different here in the city. Mr. Strong! It's cute. It's so pretty. Where? The view? That one? Yeah. It is pretty. Then, uh, don't the parent push the women to marry early? Yes, they do. They do. Mike, in the province, I'm not saying all the Filipinos doing that, ha? Huh? But mostly in the provinces, especially for those who don't have enough education to understand everything about 
about the inflations and all. Okay, um, I don't know how to explain that, but yeah, I don't know. Like, they're pushing you or they're, they're pressuring you to marry. Like, why you don't get married yet? You're getting old. You're you're not you don't have any plan to get child or to, to have a children or something like that so it's kind of like all the question was like <laughs> so yeah just like my uh, aunties you know every time they sees me in the province i'm talking about in the mountain okay uh most of my uh, aunties over there are kind of like lack of education okay so they're kind of like oh you're getting old now Marilyn why you don't marry uh, why you're not having a child you're getting menopause my gosh I'm still <laughs> I'm not menopause yet <gasps> you can have all your kids they're all dia portrayed and raised but still I know you can have all your kids there are there are all the upper strain and face but still a pain in them they don't understand about money problem you know they're just thinking about making family that is why and my family is perfect example for that i'm not ashamed the reality is people in the provinces they don't really think about the future of their children okay why do i say that they're just always making a child, making a child, making children. They don't have a stable job. They don't have an income. So they're just making, making, and making, and making. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. And perfect example for that is my family. Okay. And um, now, especially, okay, you have like 10 children. Now, those children, when they're getting, when they're growing, they're going to be thinking just to get out of the poverty, you know. They were gonna marry so they're gonna be their mindset will be like i'm gonna marry somebody so that i can get out of this poverty they're thinking that marrying somebody or living together with somebody else we're gonna solve the poverty no it's getting worse it's getting worse how many siblings do you have gary i have nine actually i have 11 we have twins but they're they died and then another one so are those counted <laughs> she wants a green card who what is green card by the way did you think you would be married and have kids by now okay um did you think you oh, no 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 Did you think you would be married? Of course! Hi, Hoka Caterpillar. You're so mean. <laughs> Time out kita, ha? Of course. No, I understand. I just want to give them out. Them away, Charot. <laughs> it's been a while. Where is Mark? Mark? He went to bed what time is it 11 he went to bed i saw mark in a chat on a stream recently are you talking about marky uh, probably yes he uh he went to different you know filipinos and filipinas vlogger american vloggers Oh yeah oh cool but not everyone not every Filipina wants a child yes you probably know that every Filipina wants to have a child so not everyone wanted to have a child actually especially for those who have like a trauma when they were a child you know but for me, I want a child, of course. That's gonna be one of the requirements to be a perfect woman. <laughs> Ma 
majority of Filipina they wanted to have a child. Yes. But there are some Filipinas that, you know, um, it's their choice not to get a child. Okay? So, everyone is different. Captain Belly, are you gonna get married here? My Filipino brother in Laos has 15 siblings, but I think big families are getting scared there. Uh, scare? Wait, what do you, you mean scare? My, we have uh, nine siblings, and my big sister, my older sister, okay? My older sister has, believe me or not, she's still 40s right now, but she has 11 or 12. I mean, less big families. No, you can find them in the, in, in the, in the mountains. You can see a lot of big families in the mountains. As what I have said, they don't think about really in the future. Okay? Of their children. And their mindset over there, I'm not talking about it all, but majority, they're kind of like more children, more chances to to get out of poverty. I know there are some Filipinos will be react when I say that, but that's how Filipinos, I'm not saying all, okay, but most majority, like most Filipinos in the mountain, they're gonna think like more children, more chances to get out of the poverty. Did you get what I mean? No way. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> that's it's not shocking on me. Like we have we know somebody, even in my family, there's eleven in my sister. Eleven. And she got like around how many? Four? One child. Four. And she got eleven children and four grandchild. At the age of forty. Forty. Yeah, 14 now. Yes, he is from Iba. What do you mean by Iba in the mountain? See, from the mountain. They don't have much to do except. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right, Eric. I can prove that. Like, you know, especially if the province doesn't have any electricity, just like my mom. Just like my mom, uh, sorry, just like my parents or just like in the province that they don't have, they can't reach the electricity and solar, it's just new, the solar, you know, way back then there's no solar. They, well, they only claim 50. <laughs> what about the grandchildren? <laughs> Iba North in Manila. Ah, okay. But yeah. Big families usually you can find them in in the mountains. Yes. Like probably there's like you will see a lot of people in there. You you'll see like different houses. I mean houses that close to each other. Usually they're just all family. Yeah. Just like me, I have twenty four nephews and nieces. Yes, and that's gonna be hard time if you have you know like like gatherings for example Christmas don't you ever try to give one of them a gift because the rest will be complained if you can provide all of them a Christmas gift then do it are you sure <laughs> are you ready <gasps> yeah Just I, I traveled there with him many years ago. Dirt roads, no electric uh, or running water, and bathroom was away from the house. You're glad. I'm glad they have a uh, what do you call that? A CR. You know, way back then, I'm proud to say that we live 
ever since when I got born, we just got our first ever CR 2020. Ah no, 2021. So, if you're gonna asking, asking me, you don't have no CR, where you gonna go? Where you gonna be? Everywhere. We're living in the forest, no neighbor at all, so we can just <laughs> hide ourselves somewhere. My wife buy her family 20 sacks of rice two weeks ago in the mountain. Oh, that's so nice. That's help a lot na in the province. Lots of family. How I wish I could provide them too. You know. But there's just so many of them. <laughs> Hello, John. Good to see you from Captain Belly Jack. Hi, Captain from Tarzan. That's Kuya John. Oh, yeah. That's the reality. I mean, I'm not against with a big family, you know. Um, I'm just thinking about the children. Like, just like my sister, okay, uh, she cannot be afford to send them all, all of them in school. So it means, like, like for example, yeah, they were in public schools, and I know they don't pay, we don't pay any tuition fee in public schools. Now, we still need, yeah, they still need a fund for that when they started to school because the school supplies, the bags, you know, uniform, shoes, and all of that so what you're gonna do just like switching like this year okay the older one and then the second one will go to school and then the next year and then the second one and then the third one will be going to school something like that just switching you know they cannot go together in school because um because of the budget xbox hello good morning let's cheer up let's cheer her up i'll match you at 20 john i think she had rap bro <laughs> captain belly i love my koyas and others nice to see you back captain belly You know, I was taking a break with the YouTube as well, actually, to have peace of mind. Yes, to have peace of mind and uh, some struggles, you know. Not every struggles that you face in your life, you should public it. You should broadcast it. Don't oversharing because not everyone will show some concern or really cares about you. There are so many spy cameras online you know like they love seeing you suffering they love they celebrate what you struggle with what's that Sikkim what's that I have not seen you on boy Captain Be I thought that was Captain Belly <laughs> Kuya Jan thank you thank you so much I have not seen you in my feed, but I have taken breaks too. I was I was taking a break, uh, Captain Belly. Soon you will know, guys. Why do I take break? And I have some priorities, you know. Off come, you know. We have our own lives as well. Thank you so much for that, uh, Kuya Jan. Thank you, thank you. Not everything that's going on in our life, we should broadcast it, you know. Just try to uh, left for yourself, like set some boundaries, you know. True, don't broadcast your whole life, yes. I mean, sometimes I'm just, you know, I'm just carried away. Sometimes I overshared you guys because, because I feel so safe. <laughs> but no, I was wrong because this one is a public broadcast. So even if I'm talking to you guys right now, like I'm sharing my problem and sharing my personal life, something to you, and then later on, there's someone will play with this that is, you know. Anyway, 
Uy, thank you ah. Thank you Kuya John. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I need. I'm so proud. <laughs> Wait, thank you, Captain Belly. I'll just end ma. Thank you so much to the both of you. Thank you, Captain Belly and Kuya Jan. Thank you. I cook. I cook raw fish for my son. What was that? Thank you, thank you to the both of you. Thank you so much. Salamat sa inyong lahat, guys, ha. Thank you very much. I had to turn off my VPN. It's almost sent. You are. VPN? Why are you using VPN? What's the purpose of using VPN, by the way? Because I've seen so many vlogs of the expat, they said they recommend the other expat, like, they saying, like, when you visit Philippines, install this VPN, blah, blah, blah. What's the purpose of VPN, by the way? Belly Jack, stop sending money to South. <laughs> so they can watch US TV, you can change your region. Ah, okay. And also, the reason it makes me confused, they said it can save your information, something like that. So, like Geo, I know you know Geo in the Philippines. For game, man. <laughs> La. <laughs> they said they're using VPN to protect their information, bank account information, something like that. You still have to be careful. Ah, okay. That's not good. I was just surprised upon watching the news like most common using that kind of site Captain Belly was from the Philippines. I was so shocked. I was so shocked when they broadcast it like they said country uh, top countries that is searching this kind of website that Belly Jack just mentioned Philippines is one of the top three. Oh my gosh <laughs> bank are figuring it out now won't last long oh okay hi pa how are you pa Six years of waiting, Marky. My malls is getting bigger, <laughs> and the other mall, mall is getting bigger too. Mm. Yes, and not much profit left in prep too, anyways. I've heard a lot about crypto, but I've also seen a lot of blogs about that, like they're wasting their money. Probably you need to know and. You need to have a lot of knowledge in investing crypto. It was good in the day. Never did that. You you won't have to wait much longer. <laughs> it's gonna be getting more bigger when probably he will be here by this year. Hopefully. 
like I got stuck, you know, for six years. If only I know that my visa won't be not be successful, how are we gonna proceed in studying? I'm wasting for like about six years. Years, you know. I regret it not doing anything just because of this visa thing there. But it's just, you know, waste of time. It's free for me. It's free to me. It's only like seven bucks per day to leave my PC on. And then you're gonna make how much per day? No, they already called us. The USCIS. Actually, we tried to, to call the USCIS. Actually, we have a consultant, Eric, and then they're trying to get a hold of in, in USCIS. And even me and Marky try to email them. They can't do anything about it anymore. So they won't reconsider it anymore. Because their reason was they're giving us, it's supposed to be four months, and then they're giving us six months. Six months extension. I mean, two months extension. And that was the time that all the flights are locked down. Everything is locked down. Like, the swap test is there. Um, flights are canceled. No, 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 she, no, no flight, something like that. So, how can I? Cost me 10 bucks to let it run. It seemed, but I stream it anyway. It costs you 7 and then 10. Did you gain any profit on it or not? It's really hard to understand that grateful thing. It's so confusing. There are some Filipinos teaching that in YouTube. But it's just, for me, too complicated to understand it. Just wait until he comes and see you again. Then start over, do it yourself. Fighting he is not fine. Probably what caused that more we don't know anything about it, you know, um, we hired a consultant before uh, Watching some vlogs watching some YouTube guidelines, you know, and uh, He paid too much He paid too much in the consultant like this consultant. I was so frustrated with this consultant because and never she never you know um they're, they're 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 processing our paper too slow like i need to follow up them i need to message them before they get a hold of me before i know that there is a a, a progress in our paper if i could do it myself anyone can do <laughs> yes we can do it actually but marky insists that time that we're just gonna hire a consultant i had no rfe What's RFE? So anyway, it's just all done. It's kind of like we're just throwing our money away. Well, not my money, it's marking money. And then all the efforts and all the time that I have, I've been waiting, you know. didn't ask for any extra information actually probably because maybe okay uh, <clears throat> probably it's not that very complicated if you are like single if you have no history for marriage let's say I use the immigration lawyer in the pardon of Dakota to bring my wife over pays six thousand dollars that's gonna be so much up front then some more later my god six thousand it's gonna be like fifty one hundred two hundred Almost what, half million? 
Flippers, hi! Hello! Wow, I paid 5,500. Oh my gosh. That's all? 500? You're doing pretty, pretty good. I am so sorry to hear you have uh, having rough time, m and I hope it's getting better. It's getting better and better. Better, Captain Belly. I mean, 2023, that was a very rough year for me. Like, almost gave up, you know. Um, too personal, but it's just a roller coaster for me. It's gonna be the hard, hard, hard time for my life. But I just didn't broadcast it. Uh, some of the viewers, especially my friends, they're wondering why I rarely doing vlog. I doing uh, like it's so rare for me. You can check it on my vlog actually. Like I think I stopped for like eight months or almost a year, something like that. You know, um, everything is just need to adjust everything is just need to accept it and uh, you know Woo! but I made it I'm I'm physically and mentally okay now yeah thank you Captain Belly the adjustment of status will cost more though oh ah, okay I showed my friend he paid $35 for the church to help him to do the paperwork $35 are we talking about like when you process your marriage like wait yeah it's so hot boy i just followed you to be this yes that one mistake that we didn't you know we should watch the videos um the guidelines first before um before filing a petition eric that's one wrong step there <laughs> because it's too late now uh, like uh, it's too late like we found that there are guidelines there are steps there are things that you know you need to fill out to prepare something like that it's too late for us to search it's already done to file the first petition was yeah it doesn't cost that much so we're just jump into like that's party decision anyway um, we just jump into like decision like without any do research just a big big mistake just like when you guys visit the Philippines for a first timer right? don't do it like you're just gonna visit Philippines without searching Philippines first there are so many things that you need to know first just like what we did <laughs> you know we went up in April you don't need a lawyer yeah I, I found out that we don't need a lawyer I mean it just cost a lot when you hire a lawyer and then there is no still assurance if you or she will be passed on the examination actually like there is no assurance that your girlfriend will get will be you will be approved your girlfriend visa actually even if you have a lawyer because the only thing that they can do is just to train you train you well and uh, process your papers something like that but you can actually we can do it by ourselves we can do it we can we can go to fly in manila or something like that it's just so minor jobs actually and then you pay a lot for the lawyer just for that knowing that there's no sure there's no 100 percent assurance that your girlfriend will pass at the medical examination because medical examination and interview so that's the most important because if she failed in the interview nothing you already were approved just redo it you have the paperwork just uh, update them I'll have to talk with Marty about that because he must been like discouraged about what's happened so yeah I'm not gonna force him to go back again who is this good morning <coughs> Good morning. Init kayo o. Oh. Init diha. Lami kina view ba? Inyo ha diha. Kay init kayo. Lami kina view view. Maling init sa kalibutan. What happened? Huh? Ah? What happened? 
What happened? Ha, sa paper na mo? That was way back, ano eh. Init kayo diri. That was way back. Three years ago pa yun. Na-denied niya. Cancel ang visa na ako eh. My visa was cancelled three years ago. Four years ago? Three years ago na. What time na ba? Hala, 11 naman di ay. Wala, na-cancel to says. They only have, ano, they only given us like four months. Ni pala ako, fiancé visa yun. Uh, we got approved like way back 2020 yun 2020 2020 and then um, I got the call that my I have a Manila case na and then I'm ready to ano na I paid the immigration 15k tapos they told me like you need to be here within 2 months for your medical examination. Ayun nangyari. Pandemic happens. Lockdown. There's no flight and everything like that. And it lasts for like about 4 months. Kaya yun na. Wala, walang consideration yun. Even if we offer to pay. Medical was easy. She was passing the interview in 5 minutes. She was only there in 15 minutes. Probably it depends. Uh, Eric. Because if she is physically okay, inside and out, there's no problem. But if they found something in your, you know, especially the, I forgot what is that. Like when they're checking your, your, your butt. <laughs> there's something if they will, you know, found something in there. I think you need to come back after two weeks, something like that. Says vlog, hello, long time no see from Captain Benedict. Init kayo, init yun kayo. Uy, pag susko. Woo! Pero nindot biha sa inyo ako na hangin. Naon sa inyo papers. Yan si Oki, one yun. Ki one. My friend got married in the Philippines when, and then brought his wife to USA. Sorry, langa, uy. They said that spousal visa is more than complicated or much longer wait than the key one i don't know if that is true or not wow sis long time no see ayan si sis nag ano na rin travel travel wala nang upload upload <laughs> hello eric yes long time tarzan hi sis good morning tarzan watching from bakerfield california oh i see i didn't know that Yes, it was approved na sana eh. It was approved. And then suddenly, pandemic happened. So, hindi na. Wala na. How about applying again? Sputum! Yes, Eric. I was talking about that. <laughs> Sputum! Oo. Wala ko ni Gawas. Kay init ka. Iba yung inita ka. Ay, uy! So, if you have no aircon, wala. Nga, nga. Wala na. Reapplying again, wala na. Nasayangan daw siya, sayang na gasto. Like, I think he spent 5,000. 5,000 US dollar. Yes. Oo. 5,000 yun. Yes, spousal visa is complicated. No, see? I'm still waiting my interview and medical schedule. How long did you wait now? I think it's been a year na, sis. Because maybe it's case by case. Because there are some vlogs that I watch that they said it's more easier for the spousal visa. And there are more, there are vlogs that I, they said that it's more easier in K1 visa. So I don't know which one. Maybe it's case by case. It's waiting game. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wala, wala tayong ano. Applied last September. See? 2022. 2023. 2024. Almost there. Almost two years. Yes, sis. Took us 10. 10 months. You're so lucky, Eric. For your Q1. You're so lucky because... <coughs> uh, what do you call that? This is the, ano short time that I know and ano ba? Paano ko ba explain? 
when I was searching on a uh, key one visa actually Eric that was like after a year I never heard after 10 months they got approved after a years some of them like one and a half year some of them like almost two years more than two years ganon it took me forever just got approved last December Oi! approved ka na last December it depends your case. Lagi nga. Case by case nga. Key one is priority over marriage visa. Ah. Key one is marriage in the USA. Yes, Captain Belly. Like, he will give you 90 days to marry your fiance. Hi, Eric. Ano yung love? I'm not your love. Uy. We did T1, did it myself, says. I'm so proud of you! And your girlfriend, of course. Yes, I can't do Q1. I'm already married here. Oh, oh, Q1 is easier the way. But I don't think so. It's still case. It's still, I know, case by case. I would say that case by case, pa rin because we got approved after almost two years then, or more than two years. We got our case approved. Too much paperwork for spousal. It's just the same with ano. Oh no, not just basic requirements for T1 actually. Especially if she is single. I think what makes it complicated if your uh the petitioner is not up to date with her his tax. Um uh, he got a problem with his divorce or something like that. That's make it complicated for the key one, huh? But if you're petitioner is single have no marriage require uh, marriage uh, history maybe and that is make it faster maybe correct me if I'm wrong like we got a paper like a bunch of paper <laughs> says our was 110 pages oh my gosh it's kind of like very thick did you read it all but it depends what you want. We just decided to get married here. Also, I wanted to do Taurus, but of course, I wanted to live in USA for a while. Mas, <coughs> mas okay talaga sis pag maano ka, ma-approve ka dun sa spousal visa. Because you can stay a little bit longer. Tama ba? Little bit longer in, in USA. So, see? That's why they approve it very fast. Maybe you have no history for marriage. Because sometimes that's one of the reasons why he won making it complicated. Because they're gonna probably investigate the marriage divorce cause or something like that. Why? It's my friends. Thank you. Salamat dong. You're still there? Thank you for that. Thank you so much. So yes, spousal is the one I should apply. Oh, oh you have no choice na eh. Mine is like more than that. Too much paper, more requirements after I got approved. Okay lang. One step closer in access. Kasi na ka na. I have to screenshot our conversation from the very beginning that's one of our problem actually when we applied key one because because our conversation starts in IMO okay <laughs> And then IMO was deleting all our conversations. And then we tried to ask for the IMO support to give it back. I mean, to restore our, our conversation. So, but they can't help it. I mean, they don't do anything to restore our conversation. So here we go. That's one of the problems that we tried to, I know. But we, we overcome it naman. Since we provide all the pictures together, the re plane receipt, Restaurant, please it. All of those, I keep it all. Family visits, you know. Um, 
pictures together. All of those boat tickets. We keep those bus tickets, everything. Oh yeah, we did too. Yeah, we did too. So complicated. Oy, oo nga. I was still here silent. Stay happy. Oy, yes, smoking. Congratulations. Congratulations. Tons of pictures, all kinds of evidences. Yes. Yeah. Like, I sent all the evidences via email. I, I mean, via LBC, like that bunch, you know. And I make an album. Too much effort for that. And then, it's just all nothing. All the efforts and everything. Wasted. <laughs> they approved the papers, but I still have to undergo interview and medical. So, yeah. Not really sure. As, at least they approve it. So, you are in the middle now. Once you, ano, you pass the medical examination, you are one step closer na talaga to the, your final destination. Oh, diba? Thankfully, on FB, you can download all the history. But not now, Eric. The just, messenger just update right now. Like, if you change, did you notice? Or maybe I'm just the one who experienced it. Like, when you change device, is for example, you have new device, all your conversation will not be restored on the new device. And if you are out of storage in the messenger the last 90 days messages will be deleting i mean they will delete it all automatically did you hear that that's the new update in messenger medical and interview is easy says it's easy if you have no i mean you are physically fit Yes, plus pictures since we met, wedding, your pictures together, <laughs> all our travel together when we're hotel booking, so creepy. Yeah, I mean, did you keep all of those? Like, for example, you are in a relationship for 10 years. Let's say, for example, 10 years, you keep all those pictures and receipt, bills, all of those, plane tickets, boat tickets, uh, bus tickets. Maybe. Dami nun. Sis mine did medical one day. Immunization shot next day. Then interview she was in, in and out of embassy in 15 minutes. You know what? She's so lucky. I haven't heard that one about the messenger. I've noticed the update though. Try it. Like. For example, you're using an iPhone right now, and then the previous conversation, or the, the whole three years, last past three years, and then up to the present, you're using an iPhone. And then you have this new Android, let's say Samsung, or any kind of phone. And you just log in your messenger in there, and it's supposed to be what you have here in your iPhone conversation, messenger conversation and messages and pictures video you can see it in the new device once you log in but right now you cannot see it anymore i even had a lawyer sitting with you with me and my pregnant wife had interview in us huh you had a lawyer Says travel vlogs. I hope the U.S. don't disappoint you. It's not as good as ten years. As far as I know, you will. They will approve you, and they will um give you permission to live here for two years, and then you have to renew it again. Or it's about the green card, Hala. I didn't manage to keep all the hour plane tickets, but I showed them all my passport stamp. Been to. 13 different countries. Ah, even two countries lang. Pwede na ako dyan. Wala talaga. Always dreaming. It helps a lot, especially the Japan stamp. You have a lot of, ano na, travel together. So, if they're asking all of those, are are they sure to, to, to browse it all? Ang dami na nun. 
Do it on PC. It's a pain, but you can download all history. Ah, I know what you mean. Yes, yes, yes. But I'm talking about the new update in Messenger. It's just so weird. Like, if you log in before to any other device, you can still see the pictures history of your messages. But right now, it's maybe the same. Uh, I mean, different. Or maybe I'm just the one who experienced it. Ala, 11.40 na pala. <laughs> Yes, Captain Belly Jack. I won't be surprised. I guess I can manage. Oh, you're one step closer na as in one step na lang talaga after done with your physical examination. Yeah, physical examination, medical examination. One step na lang talaga. My lawyer said I don't know why they give you such a hard time. Must be because my wife is 28 years younger, my lawyer told me. Yes, that's one of the reasons, actually. Yes, they do actually check it. Hi. T1, you got 10 year green card, but you got citizenship after 3 years. Then get dual citizenship. Okay, plus they ask for the financial statement, etc., bank reports. For the spousal visa, so what if you you have you have no savings? Like you have existing bank account, pero wala ka naman laman, wala naman kalaman laman. I will have no, I will have to do that to says when I will do the EOS. EOS. Yes, sis, for spousal visa. Uh, Ami Biki, one is not probably if tourist visa, they will ask for a bank statement. But for the key one, they never ask me for any bank statement that time. I have no bank that time. Ah, uh, yeah, I have existing bank account, but they're not. I didn't remember that they're. Asking for bank record, something like that. Bank statement. Ah, uh, yeah, adjustment for status. I'm glad I have the bank report, everything I could present to them that is related to my case. Really, no? They're giving you a hard time, talaga. Even if you have all the proof, like, why do you need to have like why you need to present your bank accounts? Knowing that you're married already. They're selling roaster casio. Like sometimes they have like a what do you call that? Bidding. Oh, bidding. Guys, I have to ano na. I have to go na guys because I need to take my medicine. Too complicated. Very complicated na. Ang hard ko na. Ang init na kasi dito. <laughs> so guys, I have to end my life. Uh, Captain Barry, thank you so much. Ha? Nice to see you again. Kuya John, salamat Kuya John. Thank you so much. And yes, mo Kems, dong, thank you dong. So I have to end na guys. I have to end na. Look at the sky. Kanina it's so clear but right now it's what do you call that? Cotton. <laughs> US is still the greatest country as far as I am concerned but I have only been to Canada and Mexico. Once Biden is gone I hope it's get better. Yeah, maybe. Have a good day M later all. Captain Belly, thank you so much everybody. Says, salamat says. Bye bye Eric. Bye bye. Bye guys. Nice to see you again. Bye bye.